In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to correctly align buttons and elements in general when you're creating cards or loop cards or even loop cards with products using WooCommerce and Elementor Pro. So this is the result that we're going to achieve. We're going to be able to align the buttons or also all the other elements that we want to align to the bottom of the card or whatever we want to align them to make them look more organized and uh, yeah, better. In this case, you see there is a loop grid here based on posts. And I'm going to show you also in this video how you can reorganize everything, not only by enabling this uh, equal eight, but also by uh, pushing all the content here, for example, the author box here and the button directly to the bottom of the card. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do uh, is to go and create our cards. So if you already create them, you should be in a situation like this one where you maybe have some different lengths of uh, content. Uh, like in this case, we have some paragraph that has different uh, heights, you see here, and we need to align the buttons to the bottom. This is the easiest thing to do. We need to go and select the element that is up, uh, that is before the element that we, that we want to push down. For example, here we want to push down the button, so we select the text here. We go to the Advanced tab and we make it grow. <laughs> you see here, this is magic. This is a magic button, <laughs> the grow button. You go and apply the same here also to all the other elements, so you make them grow. And be sure also to apply that to the other. Let's me go and copy and paste the style here. And as you can see here, now the buttons are all three correctly aligned and no matter how much content I have before, they're going to be always aligned. So this is the first thing. The second thing is a little bit more tricky, but uh, uh, yeah, not so much. So you can create your uh, loop grid, for example, your loop card. I have created one here. And uh, in this case, when you add your loop card by using the loop card, the loop widget, the loop grid widget, sorry, loop grid, you see, once you add this widget here to a page, uh, you need to do two things. The first one is to base, to enable the equal height you see here. This equal height option will ensure that all the cards will have the same height. And this uh, is the same principle that you can apply also when you're creating look grades for your WooCommerce products, for example. So I enable this equal height, this is great. And to make all the content uh, align correctly to the bottom of the cards, I like see here that we have some kind of uh, uh, different levels, I need to do the same tricky, do the same trick of the grow element. So I go here and I choose which elements I want to push down. In my case, I want to push down uh, all the elements, including the divider. So I select again my text here. I go to the advanced tab. I make this text grow. I publish it. And when I go and reload the page here, let me go and check it out. Reload the page. I'll see that when I edit my template and I e enable the equal height, you see all the elements now are correctly aligned to the bottom of the card, even if the content above is different. For example, here we have a shorter title and we have the excerpt with a higher padding, you see, but no matter what happens, the content stays aligned to the bottom. I hope that this video was helpful for you. So let me know with a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this kind of tutorials. My name is Pascal and I love to share my knowledge about WordPress and Elementor in this channel. So yeah, make sure to subscribe if you like this kind of content. Hey, if you like this kind of cards of designs that I just show you in this video, I invite you to watch this video here where I explain you step by step how to create them with the same design. And if you also want to learn how to create a complete website, start starting from scratch using Elementor Pro in 2025, I leave you here my latest Elementor Pro tutorial. Hope to see you in that videos and until then I wish you all the best with Elementor and WordPress. Ciao!